Here is a little reminder on how to use Flickr to search for Creative Commons licensed content. Your first step, and again, uh, do not use Firefox in the lab. Right here I'm using Google Chrome as my browser. You search for your content. So I will search for um, a pencil, and I'll press enter and it will search. Now before you go any further, you don't want to waste time by finding great images only to learn that they're fully copyrighted and they, you can't use them for your intended purpose. So your next step is at the very top where it says any license, minimally set it Creative Commons only. If you suspect you need commercial use or you need to Photoshop it or something, you can pick a sub-license. I'll just pick Creative Commons only and it will filter that initial search and now everything I see is Creative Commons licensed. If I want this one, I'm going to click on it to view it and then here it confirms to me uh, there are some rights reserved. This little icon means I must give attribution and this little icon means it must keep it share alike. Um, in Google Slides you can't use this URL to insert an image into it. You actually need to down this file, download this file to your hard drive. So my next step here is to click on the download icon and if I have all these suggestion sizes I want whatever large says. Uh, you want it to be at least a thousand pixels in the first dimension. Sometimes they don't give you large sizes. Maybe the 640 dimension might be the largest they offer you, in which case it wouldn't make a good image for a full screen, full slide background. You want large. If the original is uh, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 pixels, don't get that one. It's just overkill. So when you click large, it will download to wherever your computer downloads items. In the lab, it will automatically download it to the Downloads folder. And you would insert that onto your slide. For attribution, you need two things. You need the person's name, and it's whatever they provide here. They don't always provide first and last name. In this case, this person does, Darren Harvey. And you also need the link to this photo. The easiest way to get the correct link is to click on the little Share icon click on the link, there are three options, click on link, and that is a shortened link you can use. If you want to do it manually, you start from the beginning of the URL and stop when you get to the word in. You don't want anything else in or anything else after that. So that's how you would manually get the link. This way just makes it simpler. It's whatever is in there is what you copy. Okay, again, up here you need to start at the HTTP if you do it that way and stop before you start highlighting the word in. Anything after that is unnecessary and it's just too long to put on a slide. Okay, so that you would copy onto your slide as well. So the two pieces you always need are the person's name, whatever they provide here, and then a link to this particular photo. So there's your reminder of how to search and find Creative Commons licensed images.